Oh, don't worry, Mr. Villager and Pig Bro. I'll find some yellow dye so you can complete your market. Oh, all I need is a yellow flower, and I can turn this into... Wait, sulfur? Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz, and welcome back to Satisfactory, where we're joined by... Woo! Past Kibs! Yes, there's a pretty spooky update that did a bunch of weird things. And speaking of weird things, holy what an episode we had last time. Like, <laughs> it was just an overwhelming amount of belts and pipes and absolute just madness, man. It was crazy. Because our goal right now is to make our proper assembly line for crystal oscillators. And oh man, one of the things we needed was a lot of copper sheets. So we're producing over a thousand right now in refineries using this alternate steamed copper sheet recipe. However, we need both copper ingots and water for this. So last time I spent a horrific amount of time setting up a bunch of water packing and unpacking stations and um, <laughs> calling the situation a nightmare is quite the understatement. But it's all done now and it's all working. I just have a bunch of the trains turned off though so it's not exactly running right now. But holy, that was like a horrific nightmare. I'm just kind of happy it's over. And better yet, now we have ice cream. Yes, past kibs, be jealous because future kibs, or I guess me, has ice cream because of a new update. So the update that has caused our old model to be standing there also changed all of the textures in the game. So things are looking pretty dang, uh, pretty dang weird. Yeah, I think weird's the, the best word for this. So check this out. Uh, this is bauxite now. This is the quartz crystals, which look kind of the same. They look more like cartoony now. And then check this one out. This is my favorite. The sulfur. Now you tell me, does that not look like the dandelion dye from Minecraft? Like seriously, it's uncanny. Well, that's kind of why I love it. <laughs> it's so good. Also, I really like the raw quartz design now. The bauxite, it's pretty cool. Ooh, and also the limestone and caterium are looking so neat. Dude, this limestone one is probably my favorite. Like the new limestone? Like of all the iterations of limestone, this one, this is it. That's the one, brother. Looks like a pile of rocks. And that's what it needs to look like. It's simple. And then a caterium now. Look at this. It's like an alien of metal cubes in a rock. It's different. I really like it though. It's like because in a game, caterium's used for like advanced electronics, like all of the high speed connectors and stuff. So it makes sense it looks all like futuristic y and stuff. But it still looks a lot like gold. I don't know. It's like an alien gold. It's cool though. <laughs> but oh boy. Oh boy. There's some changes that are, um, interesting. Very interesting indeed. So iron ore now is like all spiky for some reason. I don't know, it's like scrap metal in the ground or something. It's kind of, it kind of makes me think like the iron ore deposits are actually just like crashed ships and like we're collecting some of the metal shards out of it. But it's like, uh, it's kind of different. I kind of like the old texture. And then, oh, hey, what did they do to my boy? What did they do to my boy? Copper, copper's been turned into ice cream. <laughs> oh man, there's this infamous photo now on the Satisfactory Reddit where it's like they put this copper ore on top of an ice cream cone. <laughs> it's so good, it's so good. Like, I don't get it. Why is it melted? Or, I, you know, I've never seen like copper ore in real life, so like, is this how it looks? I don't know. It's definitely unique, especially like a uh, big part of like all the texture changes there are just so you can really differentiate what's in your inventory, because holy, you're not mistaking this with anything else. The copper, <laughs> pretty dang unique. And then what are the other things? There we go. Sulfur, this, that. Like, everything looks super hyper unique now. Uh, however, coal was left the same, and I think everything else was. What else is there? Oh, we could have just opened the scroll wheel. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, and Sam War is the same too. Man, now this one's kind of like the odd one out, because, like, it 
and the coal pretty much have like the same beast model. Interesting. Yeah, you know, I get the change now. Everything kind of looked like the same, like just a pile of stuff with like a different color in the middle. And now like everything is like hyper omega unique. You can never unsee the ice cream. But those are just my thoughts on it. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And then just for my personal thoughts, I kind of like everything. I think I could get used to the copper ore, but like the iron ore and the sulfur, they really just mess with my head. The sulfur ore because of the Minecraft thing, and then the iron ore just, it's like we're collecting scraps, you know? It's really just not my jam. Anyway though, there haven't been any other updates here. Just the Steam release is coming extremely soon, and that's kind of about it. So let's get back to our project, right Kibbs? Right. So super quick recap of where we're at. We are trying to meet crystal oscillators. We need lots of them though. So again, I've started to produce like 1,300 copper sheets per minute. We have thousands of quartz crystals under wraps. And now what else do we need for this production? We're using this alternate recipe by the way that uses the quartz crystals, rubber, and AI limiters to make two crystal oscillators pretty much a minute. So the quartz crystals, check. Uh, AI limiters. So this is what I wanted to get done in the last episode. However, <laughs> things got a lot more spicy than expected. So we still have a bit to do on them. We got rid of the copper sheets, which is great. And now we have to deal with the quick wire, which actually shouldn't be too bad. Oh wait, I'm checking my notes. It's actually horrifically bad. Oh my god. What? <laughs> Whoa. One second, I gotta, I gotta double check something. I checked my notes, I thought this was gonna be like, just a, a, a little thing. It's not a little thing at all. It's not a little thing at all. We need to make... We need to make 53 assemblers for AI, for AI limiters here, right? Okay, that's like the plan. But 53 times 100 quick wire per minute equals 5,300 quick wire per minute. Oh boy. And then how do we make quick wire? Hmm, yes. Do we have an alternate? No. It's just here. Okay. So we use a constructor. And with the 5,000 ish quick wire we need, divided by 60 per minute. Uh, that means we need 87 constructors making quick wire. Eh, that's not too bad, actually. 87 constructors. And then, 87 constructors times 12 keterium ingots is 1,044. Oh, okay. Oh, the quick wire. The big total scared me for a second. That, that's not too bad. 1,000 keterium is, is doable. In fact... I'm 99% sure we have that in the base right now. It's somewhere. Let me double check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got like a decent chunk of it here. So I think over in these refineries, we're making... Oh, wait. It's Keterium ingots. Oh. Oh. That's not good because Keterium ore, even when refined, you only get like... Uh, it's a 2 to 1 ratio. Oh, this is actually terrible. <laughs> Horrifically terrible. Okay, so if we need 1,044 Keterium ingots, that means we need 2,000 Keterium ore. And that's if we're doing things in a refinery and using this pure Keterium ingot recipe. If we're just smelting the Keterium, I think it's a 3 to 1 ratio. It's horrifically bad. Yeah, 45 to 15. Wait, there's no way we're doing that. 0% chance. Okay. So let's take stock here. We have a pure Keterium node over there. So that's 480 Keterium per minute. We have another Keterium node way over there, but it's normal. So that's 300, meaning we have 780 Keterium per minute. And that's it. Is that actually it? That's actually it. All right. Well, we need 2,000 and change Keterium. So, all right, what's the plan then? There's some ideas I have. Number one, I know there is a pure node just over this way. 
Let's let's check on that. Oh, and look at past Cubes Go. He actually already placed a miner on it. Excellent. I probably did this during like a live stream or something. I do need to check. Is this pure or impure? <gasps> oh, it's pure too. Okay, so that's another 480 criterium. That's good. That brings our total to about 1,260. So we still need about 800 more. That's not too bad either, actually. Because fortunately for us, we have a train network that extends way, 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 way over this way. And over near this outpost, I know for sure there's two Caterium nodes right down there that I'd love to see, please. Uh, the main thing is, are they pure, impure? What's the quality? What are we talking about? What's the quality? Need some high quality nodes, brother? I want to see a pure node here. Yes? Hello, piggy. That's a normal node. I'm mad. Alright, but there is another Caterium node here, which is normal too. Okay. Let's just get the rock off of it. Thank you. Ah, and that's then the 600 Caterium. So we're still short by about 200. And I don't know where another node is. <laughs> a crazy idea. What if I scanned for it? What a. Absolutely amazing. What a thought. Wait, what? 423 meters? Where? where? What? Here? Who that? What are you talking about, Willis? Wait! <gasps> right over there! Oh, you sneaky devil! This has to be a pure one, right? Gotta be. Come on! Beautiful! Oh, hey. Did I introduce you to my tubular friend? Don't think I did. <laughs> Clearly not. Anyway, okay, that's really good. Uh, first, give me your organs, thank you. And this will be enough Caterium. We just need to hook it up to the train station over there. And do we use trucks to gather stuff? Probably. Because how this train station works is trucks just run out of it, grab the stuff, and unload the stuff from the truck station into the trains. And we have plenty more truck stations available, meaning we have more freight cars available, meaning we can definitely gather everything up. Like one... What is this? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. Excellent. We have five truck stations, number one. And number two, you know what? I think we're going to refine the Caterium here. I'm refining the quartz here, just because we have water like everywhere around here and it's super convenient. And also when we refine the Caterium, right? That two to one ratio actually helps us out because we can compact it effectively and set it into trains and not use as many freight cars. So it's like a double whammy. Okay, yeah, that's a great plan. I think we're gonna be all Rattorino. Oh, by the way, I don't think I've showed this yet, but I was doing a bit of work on this train station in the live stream and <laughs> it's looking pretty spicy. Added in some windows, details, stuff like that. And then read over here, this currently red brick, is gonna be like our control tower, so we could have like all the belts running up and down. On top, we could have like, um, what is it? A hyper tube launcher to get us back to bees. And yeah, this whole place is just like coming together. And I think what we're gonna do, since we're gonna be refining all this quartz here, or <laughs> caterium here, sorry, uh, we will stack, yeah, I think we're gonna stack the refineries on top of each other. So there's one here, a second, a third, and then we'll have this side, like the control tower, kind of match it. We'll kind of see if that looks good or not. Lots to play around with. Number one, let's set up the trucks and get things moving and grooving. But of course, with all big projects, they need to start with a uh, explosion. Just so we have a little bit of room to work with here because we're gonna be making a truck station like we did with the uh, quartz kind of over there and then the main road through this area is coming up through here up to there up and around and then the trucks will end up whoa getting radiation what why did they put that there why are you here goodness gracious this is why I brought lots of explosives but anyway, yeah, we have to have the trucks being able to come up here onto the hill and loop around. Sir, did he just dodge that? 
Who's in charge of their AI coding? That's big brain. Mega big brain. Not big enough brain to dodge the explosives that I already put down, but goddamn. Well played. Like I was saying here, it's just gonna be a truck station like this. Where it's attached to the road, the trucks come in, they go through a little truck port. And then they go out the back and head back to the train hub. Just like those trucks are doing now. So our little truck stations are done. They're very comfy, very cozy, very cute. And all the trucks will just come from the main road, go whoop, go up, go through the front and behind, and then they'll scoot out and go back to the train station. Yeah, like these guys, they're very small. They're, in fact, you know, this one's actually quite adorable. I like it a lot, and it'll serve its purpose too. Also though, I went ahead and I made another truck station. Exact same design, except they go in from there, go straight, go through and then go out. And also, I made this one a bit bigger because there is sulfur all over the place along with that Caterium node. So there's two sulfur nodes right here, an impure and a normal one. I just combine those together into a 429. <laughs> oh, oh. And then those go underneath and into that truck station. And then there is another sulfur node way, 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 way up there in space that I bring down this super tower and it goes into another truck station. So two of these truck stations here are for sulfur and then one of course for the Caterium. Just way back there. And oh man, man oh man oh man. The infrastructure over here is so cool. Check that out, eh? So I made like uh, just a giant tower and I was like, eh, that's, that's cool. But what if we added spice? So I added in like these support brackets and now it's like going into the corner into the cliff and over to there, and over there's where the sulfur node is. It's just like a neat little aesthetic to our world. Also, the moth doesn't actually clip through anything, right? Oh, <laughs> just barely. So yeah, we're good there too. Right, buddy boy? Right. I'm really happy this is the, our only issue with the moth so far. In all of the other playthroughs, it's been such a pain in the butt, but this one, we're free. Anyway, the trucks are all out of fuel right now, and I'll be setting up the rest of them soon.tm. But next order of business is our actual train hub here, where we need to figure out how we want to do things. Now, I mentioned we just stack the refineries on top of each other. You know, I was thinking about that, and I think it will look pretty good. Like, I'll go through some of the decorations I did. Like, I made the entrance to the train station right here, just because it needed to be super wide and in charge. So that works out, we can keep this design the same. That'll be super tall, and with the tower beside it, that'll be great. It'll be super great, in fact. Tremendous, even. And then back here, that won't cause any problems, because I did my best to try and blend everything together. There's a lot of clipping and a lot of craziness, so... <laughs> you gotta try your best sometimes to make it work. Yeah. Let's copy this up a few times. I think we'll have to make three copies, actually. So this will be a four floors of refineries. Yeah, it's gonna be a tall freaking boy. Hopefully it doesn't look like absolute garbage. Okay, well, it's definitely uh, different. Okay, and yeah, that's actually a lot better. I've added in some extra walls too, coming up from the truck stations, just up this way. So it looks like we kind of have extra supports in between as well. Maybe we can sneak some in like the interior of the build too. And after a little listen to that, it should be okay. But for now, I'm just gonna sit with this for a while. There's a lot of designs that I always do, like, and I do them in like the live streams and stuff on Twitch. And I don't really like talk about them because with the designs, I usually don't get them like perfect first try. Like I have to build them, I let them sit, I hum and I ha. And then one day I'm like, wouldn't it be better if I changed this a little bit? Like what if we also added like a wall bordering the top here too. That'll make the floor thicker. And I just have like random ideas like that. Yeah, that's what we needed here. And then we'll keep on adding stuff like that pretty much perpetually until eventually we can say that this thing's done. It's not about like making it perfect on the first try, it's about moving it in the right direction constantly. Uh, I'll belt all this stuff together and we'll get it running, send it into the train, and then we'll get all the Caterium back to base and rock and roll. Speaking of rockin' and rollin', I also made the Hypertube launcher. That goes back to base. 
I haven't tried it out yet, so hopefully this is okay. It's like 15, no. Oh wait, yeah it is. It's 15 hypertube entrances long, which is pretty dang spooky considering the speed exponentially grows as you go through more entrances, so... This is either gonna be overkill and send us literally into the void, or it will not. <laughs> Only one way to find out. YOLO! It's looking good. I think this is- no, this is perfect. Scoot over to the side. Oh my gosh. Are we actually at, like, the perfect airport height? One second, there's our airport. We need something- <gasps> Okay, A, we didn't die. I thought for a second we we're gonna die. And also we go right go back to our airport. We have the perfect flight! We now have an airport system! <laughs> our satisfactory airline is online. Magnificent. Oh yes, and while we're up here, the other Caterium node that we are checking out earlier, I hooked up just the refineries just beside it, because, you know, the water's right there, the Caterium's right there, <laughs> why not? And also, this actually ended up looking really, really good too. I've got like a cool V shape, we got all those kinds like stuffed into that corner there. And we'll add like a little building around this at some point in time. But back to the train station area here. I've done a little bit more work and things are actually all belted together now. So, we are actually bringing up the Caterium. I dealt with the water, the whole shebang, added in a little balcony, you know, just touching things up. And <laughs> it's looking pretty cool. I gotta admit, it's looking pretty dang cool. Especially the water extractor area. It's beautiful. Look at all the water and the yellow pipes contrasting. I'll probably actually paint the pipes at some point, but for now, we can admire it. Oh, and <laughs> with all the Caterium running here, we're getting all of it back to base, being loaded into a train. Uh, we used this tower to bring everything up and down. Wasn't too bad, not like a crazy amount of stuff to move around. This looks pretty neat. I'll probably add a few more details here and there to it, but until then, I think we're good to go. Oh, but my favorite thing is the trucks. All the trucks are set up now. The fleet is moving. The fleet is grooving. Let's catch a ride and check it out. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, no. Okay, well, I have a watchtower. Fine, if you want to be a rude truck. But yeah, all the eight trucks are now running here, and oh boy, it is gonna be pandemonium. We really have to avoid this area now, because all the trucks are running, and they're going through this central place, and just look at all of the nodes. Look at all of them, like, crossing. They're just all over the place, especially these ones. They cross over the path of those trucks, and they just go everywhere. Like, at the point you have, actually, yeah, about eight trucks. You run into so many issues if you didn't build, like, road work for them. Now the trucks kind of like to crash everywhere, every so often. But of course, the one second I'm looking at them while recording, they're all behaving, like, literally perfectly until they're not. Oh no. Oh no. That was a good turn. Oh. 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 Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Of course, I come here to witness chaos, and it's a beautiful ballet of splendor. We'll catch them yet, don't worry guys. The trucks aren't to be trusted. Oh, and speaking of... Speaking of! <laughs> that didn't take long at all! <laughs> I was trying to get out! <laughs> That's adorable! Oh god, I love them. I love them so much. Legit though, this is happening all the time. This is why I hang out at our base. So they're just teleporting and not, you know, doing truck things. Goodness gracious. By the way, the reason that happens is when the two trucks are on the same node and you get close for them to load in together, they go from like the teleporting to like the 60 FPS version. If two of the trucks are in the same node, they like combine together and that kind of chaos happens. But of course we rock and roll, they teleport back. And then when we come back down, you can watch all the fun. And will there be any more fun here? 
I don't think so. Not for a little bit anyway. So let's head back again. Whoop! There we go. And now, with all the Keterium back at base, what do we do? Well, we want the AI limiters, right? Well, I was looking at the base and kind of like thinking about it. And we have not really a problem, but oh god, we're about to have a problem. Stop. Oh, okay. Never mind. We have a problem now. One moment, please. That's what I was saying. So I was thinking about this here and looking at the floors we had. And what I was initially considering is just having like just rows and rows of constructors and assemblers just la di da just on each of these extra floors. But I think we're just going to process more ores here. Like have more water and packers, maybe make like a water packing base or expand on our existing one and then do more refining and stuff here. So that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to leave one of the floors empty, like the floor just beneath like this rooftop. And then we're going to do the AI limiter production and the crystal oscillator stuff in phase two of the base. Because phase one, kind of what you see before you, is just for bringing things together and doing basic processing. And then phase two, which will start about here and go up to forever, will be like our main production lines. And we'll make like multiple, multiple floors dedicated to making the crystal oscillators and stuff and do like cool designs and things and make things look a lot more unique. Because right now with phase one, a lot of the walls are very repetitive. We've just had to use them for bringing items up. And as we move up in our production chain, we're going to have fewer and fewer items to deal with. So we don't now need to focus on building, you know, <laughs> a massive item spine on the back of the beast to bring up 10,000 raw materials. And so we're actually going to be getting to the AI limiters next time when we figure out how to design phase two here. Because, you know, <laughs> there's nothing there. But we'll make it really cool. And maybe we can use some of the design tricks we did over at our train station here, like with the pipes and the indented pumps and belts. Uh, but we'll see. For now, I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching. But have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye <laughs> <laughs>